Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about Invasion Dungeons, the different mechanics that have been introduced with Invasion Dungeons. We'll talk about Haley, we'll talk about uh, the drop rates of the Haley components, and we will also talk about the latest update from the developers which came in this morning, one day after season was season one was launched. They are already fixing stuff. If you find this video helpful, make sure you like that video, and I would also appreciate if you subscribe to my channel i'm very close to my very first 3000 subscribers on my youtube channel so let's get started look, look at the numbers over here i'm not even kidding that was three hits and this is Haley, ladies and gentlemen for you so if you want to unlock Haley, starting tomorrow she will be way faster to unlock um, it is so totally All right, so let's talk about the invasion dungeons before you actually unlock in invasion dungeons You will have to do a couple of quests. You will just follow the purple quests in Albion You will have to do a special operation then you'll have to do uh, I believe it was a dungeon and just after that you will be able to unlock the invasion dungeons the few things to note about the invasion dungeons those are going to be two different dungeons every single day and you can clear those dungeons twice each. So a total of four invasion dungeons you can do per day. And those are going to be on a daily rotation. Every day, every dungeon will have a different mechanic in it. This makes it interesting. Now, the cool thing about those dungeons is that they will drop also some materials. You'll have the option to get some materials. One of the good things about the invasion dungeons is that those are going to be dropping materials for Haley as well. I'll walk you through one of the first dungeon mechanics that they that they introduced uh, yesterday. This is the dungeon mechanic from yesterday with the tumors. Um, this mechanic in general was the one that received the most complaints because uh, over here, in order to actually do the entire mechanic, let's talk about the pillars. And over here on the right side, you will see a drone flying around with different symbols on top of, their, of, of the drone. So what you need to do over here is you need to find the matching position. So basically you're looking for this symbol on the drone. So it has to be on either this side or the other side. Now what they're going to do with the latest change over here is for order of truth. So basically for this uh, type of mechanic to make it easier to remember the pattern will be simplified and, uh, and our key pillars without patterns will, will be deleted. So basically, there were pillars that sometimes when you shoot those tumors off, it wouldn't show you even a symbol. So sometimes you would lose time and you would run around and try to figure out what the hell is going on. And you will need to change the pillar and to look for a pillar that actually shows you the symbol. So those without symbols, first of all, will be removed. The other change that they're going to do is they're going to rotate the pillars. So look, as you can see, the, the, the one on the right over here is facing the rocks to the right, which makes no sense. So they're going to rotate them so they actually face you when you actually go through this area. So this is also one convenience change that they're doing. And the third change, the direction of the archipelago will be adjusted to look towards the battle area and the drones pattern will be de will be designed vertically. So we will see this not horizontally, we will see this vertically so that we know, all right, this over here matches actually the right side or the one on the bottom, right? So clearing out and finding which symbol is where is going to be much more easier. They actually did a great job uh, for reacting so fast, deciding to actually improve this mechanic and make it easier for the folks to actually do this mechanic. Now, after you find the correct drone, this drone will actually drop a weapon. If you, if you find the wrong drone, it will blow up and you will have to reset, right? So this was me trying out for the very first time, trying to figure out what is going on over here. When you die twice or more, I do highly recommend just abort the mission and start over and over again. If you want to be within the gold timer um, and within the time frame of getting the maximum possible rewards, you need to actually do this flawlessly without any bigger problem, without any bigger bumps on the road. You don't want to die. If you die, 
you shouldn't be more than once otherwise you risk actually getting um the gold timer rewards now after you get the weapon you get this laser beam that you need to shoot those eyes on the wall now you need to shoot three times in order to pop one of these and you have limited bullets which makes you trigger which makes you do the same mechanic a second time in order to open up the door after you are done with all the two stages you will get to the boss and then you will be um, asked to do the same mechanic over here the only difference is instead of shooting the tumors instead of shooting the doors in here you actually need to shoot the boss with this uh, beam rifle now one advice that i can give you for the invasion dungeons is bring tankiness and bring your most damaging weapons whether this is going to be your enduring legacy uh, or other weapons that you have in your arsenal just bring something that will do damage the second type of uh, invasion uh, mechanics that they actually introduced are these where you need to jump on a platform on top of everything you need to memorize the pattern and the colors that you're looking for in order to open the door so in this case i needed to uh, st stay on a on a white yellow and pink platform once you stand on these for a, a few seconds and you you also see a charging up animation once it's activated like i'll show you in a second now you'll see this start charging up and while you're standing on this, you will get a lot of mobs running towards you. But you try to not worry that much about the mobs. You just get the platforms as soon as possible. And then you will open up the door. The exact same way the mechanics works in, in, in the final uh, stage when you are actually uh, fighting the boss. As you can see, if I just entered the boss fight and the boss has a green shield. So I'm looking... I'm looking for a, a green platform where I need to stand on and you need to stand on the platform and from the platform you will be able to shoot his shield off and the moment you remove the shield you can actually do damage to its HP. From today uh, the mechanic uh, is actually pretty easy. Uh, this is a collect uh you know collect points and drop them in the in the in the box over here you basically kill the mobs collect these points and drop them off you just need to approach this collection device after you do this you can actually pop the shield and fight the boss it's the exact same way it's the exact same mechanic you go and do like the three stages in the dungeons as quick as possible collect drop off collect drop off and this is how you get to the boss fight here i'm already at the boss fight i'm just showing you i was very tempted to kill this yellow bar for some materials but then i realized all right wait a minute i'm actually doing an invasion dungeon for time so let me not focus on a couple of materials that i don't need anyways so let me actually finish up over here i here got three uh chips for Haley. the reason why i got three is because i was uh faster than the time required to stay within rank one when you are in the second bracket you will get two chips instead of three now talking about the chips they actually introduced uh, and wrote another note over here for the drop rates also the drop rate for Haley's equipment material enhanced cells dna stabilizer catalyst data chip in invasion and infiltration operation will be increased our dev team wanted everyone including our users who have who only have limited time to finish Haley in 12 days in average also we wanted to be to uh, better support users who can invest a lot of time to make Haley faster through the infiltration operation. So in other words, they are buffing Haley drops and they will make two times easier to acquire Haley now. Haley is a very, very nice descendant. She does a lot of damage, folks. If you watched this video so far, if you find it helpful, I would really appreciate if you liked this video and maybe even subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.